case discussion. This is a case of a three-year-old male child residing in the Smoky Mountain of Nabotas, complaining of colicky abdominal pain for the past two days. History of present illness. The patient was in his usual state of health until two days ago when malaise, anorexia, and mild colicky right lower quadrant pain began. The symptom intensified during the last 24 hours. He now feels feverish and vomited twice with a large worm, and his pain is moderately severe. No shaking chill, no diarrhea, dysuria, or hematuria has occurred. Persistence of the pain prompted the patient to consult the doctor. Personal and social history. The patient is the sixth among eight siblings he lived with his family in a small house with only one room near the dumping site of a garbage materials. Water source is from deep well within the area. He is fond of playing with his brothers in the nearby mountain of soil and garbage. Physical examination. The temperature of the patient is 30 degrees Celsius. The pulse rate is 80 beats per minute. Respiratory rate is 24 cycles per minute. And the patient's weight is 10 kilograms. Pertinent findings include HE and T with pale conjunctive A, lungs with minimal wheezes in right lower lung field, abdomen. Abdomen is slightly distended, normal bowel sounds with direct tenderness on both right and lower quadrants. No palpable mass, liver and spleen are not palpable. Rectal. Stool lightly yellow and soft. No blood. Laboratory examination results for blood. Hematocrit 35%. Hemoglobin 90 mg per deciliter. WBC 10,000. For differential count, neutrophils 65%. Lymphocytes 22%. Monocytes 3%. And eosinophils 10%. The result for urinalysis is normal. And for fecalysis, it is positive for Ascaris ova. The medical diagnosis is intestinal Ascariasis. Once the Ascaris lumbricoids get through the intestinal wall, the larvae travel from the liver to the lungs through the bloodstream. During this stage, pulmonary symptoms such as coughing may occur. In the lungs, the larvae climb up through the bronchial tubes to the throat where they are swallowed. The larvae then return to the small intestine where they grow, mature, mate, and lay eggs. The worms reach maturity about two months after an egg is ingested from the soil. Adult worms live and remain in the small intestine. A female worm can produce up to 240,000 eggs in a day, which are then discharged into the feces and incubate in the soil for weeks. Children are particularly susceptible to ascariasis because they tend to put things in their mouths, including dirt, and they often have poor hygiene habits than adults. Ascaris lumbricoids, the etiology of the disease is cylindrical, tapering gradually at the anterior end, somewhat less at the posterior end. The Romans referred to it as lumbricus teres, indicating that it was confused with the common earthworm. It flourishes in warm, moist climates or moist temperate regions where personal and community hygiene and environmental conditions combine to favor development and persistence of the infective stage larvae in the egg in polluted soil. Ascariasis occurs when worm eggs of the parasite Ascaris lumbricoids commonly found in soil and human feces are ingested. The eggs can be transmitted from contaminated food, drink, or soil. The round worms range in size from 5.9 to 9.8 inches for adult males and 9.8 to 13.8 inches for adult females. The worms can grow to be as thick as a pencil and can live for 1 to 2 years. Ascariasis is frequently found in developing countries where sanitary conditions are poor or in areas where human feces are used as fertilizer. When the eggs are swallowed and passed into the intestine, they hatch into larvae. 
the larvae then begin to move through the body. Once they get through the intestinal wall, the larvae travel from the liver to the lungs through the bloodstream. During this stage, pulmonary symptoms such as coughing may occur. In the lungs, the larvae climb up through the bronchial tubes to the throat where they are swallowed. The larvae then return to the small intestine where they grow, mature, mate, and lay eggs. The worms reach maturity about two months after an egg is ingested from the soil. Adult worms live and remain in the small intestine. A female worm can produce up to 240,000 eggs in a day, which are then discharged into feces and incubate in the soil for weeks. Children are particularly susceptible to ascariasis because they tend to put things in their mouths, including dirt, and they often have poor hygiene habits than adults. The most important measure of protection against ascariasis is the safe and sanitary disposal of human waste, which can transmit eggs. Areas of the world that use human feces as fertilizers must thoroughly cook all foods or clean them with the proper iodine solution, particularly fruits and vegetables. Children who are adopted from developing nations are frequently screened for worms as a precautionary measure. Kids who live in underdeveloped areas of the world may be prescribed a preventive deworming medication. These practices are recommended for all children. There is much as possible to keep kids from putting things in their mouths. Teach kids to wash hands thoroughly and frequently, especially after using the bathroom and before eating. Treatment for Ascariasis Pharmaceutical drugs that are used to kill roundworms, specifically Ascaris lumbricoids, are called ascaricides, and these include mebendazole, pipirazine, pyrantel pamuate, albendazole, thiabendazole, hexyl resorcinol, santonin, and oil of chinopodium. It also includes corticosteroids that can treat some of the symptoms such as inflammation. The confirmation for Ascariasis infection, which the 3-year-old child has, can be further be assured with the environment or community. The child lives at the Smoky Mountains, a place where garbage accumulates. Even unsanitary practices are done here. The child was confirmed playing with his siblings at the nearby mountain filled to the brim of soil and garbage. With unsanitary practices done here, it is likely that the soil where the children are playing is contaminated with the embryonic stage of Ascaris lumbricoids. Two days after said incident, the child was diagnosed with the following symptoms. Male, anorexia, and mild colicky, right lower quadrant. Day later, the child is feverish, vomited with large worm, and the pain is severe. The manifestations of the symptoms is as follows. For Malay, total body weakness can be experienced because the Ascaris roundworms are consuming the nutrients needed by the body to function for them to survive. So whenever the child eats, it's been consumed away by the roundworms. Anorexia can be a factor. For anorexia, loss of appetite can be experienced. For anorexia, loss of appetite can be experienced. For colicky, intestinal pain, the child is infected by intestinal ascariasis. This type of ascariasis resides in the large intestine, achieve maturity, and consume any nutrients found there. It seems the ascaris roundworms are more concentrated at the ascending colon due to pain at the right lower quadrant. For fever, a natural defense mechanism of the body in times of infection, trying to kill the invaders with heat. Sadly, the Ascaris roundworms are unaffected because they like warm temperature. For vomiting, it shows that the number of Ascaris roundworms has increased to the point that they now travel ascending to the other J organs, especially the stomach in the child's case. 
severe pain. From mild to severe, it shows the sign that the Ascaris roundworm population has increased significantly to inflict further pain.